we are hooking up the computer and the procedure is you have to plug in the new actuator without it installed and then on the computer you have to hit install so that way the computer and the actuator can kind of sync up together and then after basically the computer tells you the procedure and how to install the vgt so that's what we're going to do here so all right so we're going to click on install basically this is the moment of truth we're going to hit start there we go well we found our problem now let's just go basically finish this up All right, so we completely finished installing the VGT. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna calibrate the new VGT and then we're ready for our first start. So the one thing I really love about doing stuff like this is it gets your brain thinking. Uh, you run into new problems, you run into new issues uh, and in engines like these is in a completely new compartment, new area rather than a semi, it's all open all around. So it requires you to think harder uh, versus an oil change or a wheel seal. You're just kind of on autopilot and you're just kind of doing it, you know, uh, you know you've done it a million times. So that's why I really love this work. It uh, really gets your brain going. This is a moment of truth. All right, let's go look at it. So basically, I'm gonna check for leaks. I'm gonna make sure everything's installed properly. I'm gonna let the coolant temperature build up. That way there's pressure in the system. So I'm gonna look for any leaks. I'm also gonna make sure that the coolant is level. So it does look like we're low. So I'm gonna top it off. I'm also gonna let all the air bubbles come out. Make sure we get a proper reading. So I'm just looking at the coolant lines that go into the VGT, just making sure there's no leaks, making sure everything's working properly. We've confirmed that there's no leaks, everything's good, all the codes are clear. Um, so now we're just putting everything back together, doing a once more or doing a once over and then gonna send it off. Right, guys thank you so much for watching uh thank you for following along with the process on how we diagnose things um in this case it was the vgt we went through the four steps of checking the turbo actuator we went to check the engine harness the ecm and in this case it happened to be the vgt we installed it on the computer we calibrated it and everything's good to go don't forget to leave a comment below to let us know what you guys like to see in the future see you guys next time